Hey guys, welcome back to Eastgate Mafia. We are here in beautiful Venice Beach, California, and it is a perfect day to do a range test. I will be taking the brand new Backfire Zealot S on a range test using the 105 millimeter cloud wheels. I know a lot of you guys are purchasing this new Zealot. I know a lot of you are also purchasing the cloud wheels to go along with it. I wanted to give you guys not only a range test, but a review of how these cloud wheels feel on the board overall. What some of the pros and cons are versus the stock wheels and how they directly compare from a range, a speed, a braking, and an acceleration perspective to the stock wheels. All right, guys, let's cut to the intro and get going. You leave me so cold I'm missing what it feels like I'm missing what it feels like In order to do as similar of a comparison as possible between the stock 86 millimeter wheels and the 105 millimeter cloud wheels, I did both range tests on the exact same path. I rode on a largely flat bike path, keeping the board between 15 and 25 miles per hour as much as I could and I tried to make sure the level of aggressiveness I was riding with was comparable on both of the range tests. On the stock wheels, I got 17.5 miles out of the charge. On the cloud wheels, I got 12 and a half miles out of the charge. I am 210 pounds, probably closer to 220 pounds with gear on. I do ride aggressively, I do carve a lot, I'm hard on the throttle and I'm hard on the brake. So this is a real world range test. You can expect to get those same mileages, if not better. Again, I'm a heavy rider and I ride fairly aggressively. In terms of the speed comparison between the stock wheels and the cloud wheels, in sport mode, maxing out the throttle, I was able to reach 26 miles per hour on the stock wheels that increased to 28 miles per hour on the cloud wheels. So we definitely got a higher top speed with those larger cloud wheels. In terms of braking, the stock wheels did brake stronger, which is almost always the case when it comes to smaller versus larger wheels. As well as losing a little bit of braking power, you also lose a little bit of acceleration. Now, don't be worried. The braking is still incredibly strong and will bring you to a complete stop on both flats and slight declines. The acceleration is still more than enough to get you past bikers, other riders, and just to have fun with. So although you do lose a little bit of braking and acceleration, it is still a really responsive ride. Uh, that takes me to the aesthetic. There's no doubt that the cloud wheels look a little bit cooler on the board than the stock wheels do. Now, if you watched my previous review, you're aware that I loved the way the stock wheels looked on the board, and I still feel that way. But the cloud wheels have a really unique look, and they do make the board pop a bit. Now, in regards to pros and cons of the stock wheels versus the cloud wheels, the stock wheels have, again, faster acceleration, as well as slightly stronger braking. Now, as a result of the smaller wheels, it's also a little bit more of an adrenaline rush. The board bounces around a little bit. It's not as comfy of a ride. 
I kind of like that. Uh, makes the ride more exciting. Uh, you also get much better range with those smaller stock wheels. Again, 17 and a half miles in sport mode riding aggressively versus 12 and a half miles on the cloud wheels. Now in terms of how the cloud wheels stick out and where they shine, it's definitely a more comfy, a more safety inspiring ride. Those cloud wheels give you a huge margin for error. Um, you can roll over larger cracks, rocks in the road aren't going to affect your ride. Uh, there's also a lot more stability at higher speeds. You can get up to 28, 29, 30 miles an hour on those cloud wheels and feel completely in control of the board and feel completely safe. I can't say the same thing for the smaller wheels. Uh, somehow, the larger wheels are more nimble, more responsive. I find it a little more fun to carve with the cloud wheels versus the stock wheels. Uh, again, it just is a bit of a confidence-inspiring wheel compared to the stock one. If you are a newer rider or somebody who just prefers to have a higher level of safety, I definitely recommend the cloud wheels. Again, I also think that they look better than the stock wheels, which does mean something. Now, neither one is necessarily better than the other. I wanted to give you guys an apples to apples comparison so that you could come to your own decision of which wheel is best for you. With that being said, I think it's best to have both sets if you can afford it. The stock wheels are great for longer range, more smooth pavement rides. The cloud wheels are great if you're going over rougher terrain or if you just want to have a more mellow riding experience. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you stuck it out till the end, please subscribe to the channel. It really, really does help. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace out, Eastgate Mafia.